Is my ninja in the motherfucking mix? Damn, it's back. That's what she said. <laughs> Do the intro with the music and then Derek's gonna start. <coughs> Cough and candy's gonna be next. <laughs> I'm doing good. You know, <laughs> I was uh, at Boomer Jacks last night, watched the uh, the Mavs in Game Six. I, game Six. I was really nervous, thinking that they were going to lose it. You know, at, at home at that. Yeah. But boy, uh, you know, your, your boy Luca pulled through. I mean, was clutch. The whole team kind of pulled together, and they really just blew him out the water. I mean, they whooped that ass. Everybody keeps saying we're not going to do good because we don't have a big or anything like right. that. But man, <laughs> those boys are going out there showing they don't need a big. They're going out there playing hard every game. What what is the what is the name of of the shop first first of all Derek the, remind everybody the Cliff Shop so obviously it's the Cliff Shop because we in the the Cliff already so naturally we in the Cliff Shop it's a smoke shop a little longer than a few minutes later like, Cali used to be Mexico so did Texas so did Texas yeah hi hey, star there you go ah! 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 There's mine, Derek. Come on, where's yours at, brother? What the? Whoa. Hey. What, what, what is, let me ask you this. What is today? What is today? Today is Friday. Friday, the, thir Friday the 13th. Oh, that's that's some good topics to get into, some scary topics. Do, do y'all believe in ghosts? Um, I do, but like to an extent, like I, I'm like not scared like to confront a ghost. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like. Like it, it sounds weird, bro. But like, if it came to it, bro, like, 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 I don't know, bro. Like, I'm probably gonna have to charge up a ghost, like, on some real, like, life stuff, bro. Cause like, I'm not gonna run for my life, like, ah, you ghost, like, you know, bro. Like, bro, what's up, ghost? Like, so have you had any experience nah, with the ghost? I haven't had no experience. Like, I've had experiences. I'm gonna be real honest with y'all. I haven't shared this with anybody all this week. <laughs> all this week? What are you talking about? I've been Look ghosted by so God. many women. <laughs> This whole week, <laughs> fucking ghosted. They fucking leaving me on red and and everything. And I know they fucking see my messages. <laughs> you know, just gotta do it like that sometimes. Why y'all do that for? So Derek, let everybody know once again what's the name of the shop, what's the name of the show that we got going on tonight, uh, you know, and everything like that. So anybody will tune in next time. They know the name of the shop. They know what you're doing. What kind of products and services you offer and everything like that. Man, we're the Cliff Shop located in Dallas, Texas. Um, what we do is we're just a convenience store slash smoke shop. You know what I mean? We try to have every smoker's needs, but we only try to have like quality smoker's needs. You know what I mean? We don't got like a whole lot of display. We got the quality, quantity, best products here. You know what I mean? Like we carry a lot of good products and we're just trying to be a good quality smoke shop. We got a lot of Delta A products. We just got those in. You know what I mean? We're trying to grow on that. So we're planning on getting a lot of the buds in, a lot of the waxes in, stuff like that. So one thing I want to ask you, Derek, and this is what a lot of people don't understand. A lot of people are using like CBD products and different things that you're offering, but they use them for for pain, for joints and everything yeah. like that. So it doesn't necessarily have to be simply get high off of, you know, can you educate, let everybody know why this is still good for other other purposes? Well, a lot of athletes, like coming from like an athletic point of view, like a lot of athletes take like like marijuana, CBD, right. like just because it helps with like joints, it helps with like muscle pain and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I started like using like CBD myself because I had a like tear on my uh, meniscus in okay. high school. So like I started using that after I graduated and I, and I feel never felt better, you know what I mean? So the pain went away? Pain went away, yeah. Wow. And so I started using like CBD products myself and like I don't like how a lot of people like decriminalize like like marijuana like marijuana like that especially like when they go like like cbd like they're just oh they're just gonna go smoke it you know what i mean like nah, it has different beneficial factors you know what i mean like mm -hmm. like people give it to their dogs now you know what i mean yeah. in their treats like it's it's everywhere like the, the other thing i want to touch touch on is people so i don't know what the percentage is but i know it's super high people suffer from anxiety yeah i know yeah, a lot right? of people do. So. I mean, we worry about tomorrow before it's even here. Yeah, you know, and especially right now, we got fucking inflation going on. We got gas prices fucking high. People trying to figure out how they're gonna pay their bills and yeah. everything like that. Um, it can also help with that. T yeah. Touch on that a little. Oh bit. yeah, definitely, bro. I feel like either you, a lot of people that smoke it, eat it, whatever, bro. I feel like it has. It probably has the same beneficial factor for people, especially on, like on anxiety, because like it calms your mind in a way. You know what I mean? Yeah. It gives you that sense of 
that sense of relief. In okay, and it you makes I mean? you happy. It raises your vibration. There you go. And how we're talking about ghosts earlier, sometimes they can fucking fuck with you the way you feel. So you got to make sure you ain't got some shit bullshitting around you too and just be like, okay, you know what, Sage? He sucks but like with sage. like bad auras and stuff and like yeah mouth. or like just picking up on other people's emotions as well too because like we're all empaths to a certain extent so you're gonna feel other people's emotions so you want to fuck around and cleanse yourself with some sage burn it like put some 432 hertz or 528 hertz boom you know get it going money. And I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, yeah. actually, so how you want to sage? I mean, I don't know if you want to put this in here, but I mean, you ain't got to, but I just want to yeah. tell you. Well, you, they, they sell the, the product here. He yeah. does. For a reason. Product. Okay, so boom. So sage. Nah, they, we, we sage this place. Right. This place used to be a so game room. If you really want to sage it. You don't know what, what kind of things was happening. But if you go to the restroom, it says good luck on the door. That's, that's <laughs> kind of, that, when you leave in the restroom, it's kind of creepy, bro. If you like. <laughs> right. Why does it say good luck? It used to be a game room. room. The restroom? No, oh, it used like, to be a game room with like casinos in here, like slot machines and oh, shit. Oh, like everything used to be. Yes. Oh, that's why I said. <laughs> exactly. It's kind of creepy in a way. But let me, yeah. let me, let, I want to touch back on the topic of, of like the comedy. Like, do you think yeah. like, like today's generation is kind of like, like making like people want to be a, a comedian, like in a way, like for coming, like wanting like to keep like join it in a way. You know what I mean? Um, I, I think, I, I think uh, this new generation personally, um, is looking for any reason to to debate, mm. and that's what I don't like. Let let people be who they want to be. Let them, you know, you can't. It's no longer a freedom of speech anymore. Yeah, you know, it's it's just uh, everything's being debated these days. Mm. Um, it's hard for an, an an individual to have their own personality and to speak what what's on their mind uh, without being judged by twenty other people. You know, it it it's you. We all walk on eggshells every single day because you post something on social media. It could it could have nothing to do with the way you value or see things, but they're gonna judge you immediately out, out off of that. You know, that's why I'm really big about meeting people in person. Yeah, because they're gonna mirror you. They're gonna see, what you see is what you get. Yeah, you know. But though if they don't know you, then they're gonna you know talk about you. But it, that it, that comes along with it. You're always gonna have haters. You're always gonna have people who, you know, say you're bullshitting and this is that. But you know, it, it is what it is. You know, brush them off. Just yeah, you know, it, they're just they're just not worth the energy, man. I've, I've, the older I'm getting, you'll learn to stop engaging in just negativity, and then people who just they they don't want nothing but bad from you, you know. And sometimes people will pick at you because they want you to to react. Yeah. Oh my god. But, and why? Because not only that, because they have nothing to yes. lose. You know, you're the one who's gonna end up in end up losing. You know, yeah. the things that you've worked hard for. So you gotta be real careful, man. <laughs> it, it is what it is. It comes with the industry. You know me. You know me, me and Candy. We've met good people. We've met bad people. Uh, we just know who to stay away from and and who to continue to connect with and people who make us happy and 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 different things like that. Yeah. But yeah, it's a good 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 question, man. And but light a blunt. You know, one of those things with <laughs> with comedy, man. I think it's always been where people need to go to these comedy shows simply because it makes you forget about everything. You know, you, everybody, we're all broken and we all got shit going on in our, on our lives. Mm -hmm. But if you go to a comedy show for an hour and a half and, and just laugh your ass off and just, you know, hang around with people that, you know, are with you, right. you know, you need that. You know, this world is so fucked up right now. You know, we're dealing with so much shit right now. Yeah. You know, you need to get away, you know, invest $15 wow. in a ticket. <laughs> Perception, <laughs> though. A, a, yeah, everything. So It's good, the way you perceive question. the world. Because yep. the world is beautiful within itself, but it's like... The world's beautiful, but the food is even beautiful. I mean, there you go. I love how you're just adding to it. You know what I'm saying? So That's why you want to travel the world. It. You want to go... It's that, the way you perceive it. So if the world's fucked up, it's because y'all on some fucked up shit. You, Something you happened. You made it that way. Yeah. Some could have happened way back in the gap, too, though, because we're how we're talking about ghosts and shit, like, too. Like, the haunting in Georgia or the haunting in Connecticut. Like, Georgia, it was, like, something about, like, the Trail of Tears or something, and they build houses, like, nearby and shit. Or uh, houses on graveyards. All kinds. Oh, my God, yes. I went In my cosmetology class, this one girl was, like, talking about how her aunt's house got reframed or remodeled, and there's old fucking tombstones. And that cleared the reason why it was fucking haunted. And I was, like, That's crazy. The only tombstone I do is pizza. <laughs> <laughs> you know about that. Pizza. It's a pizza yeah. from Walmart. Really? Yeah. yeah. She, she don't know about I know that. What you're talking about. <laughs> I, <laughs> make, <laughs> I make my own. Or... Hey, much hey. going on. <laughs> I swear, man. Well, that's all I got for tonight. I know we've been on here for a minute. If you want to recap and let everybody know again what's the name of the shop and, you know, yeah. everything like that. Man, we're at the Cliff Shop, the located in Dallas, Texas, man. Oh, Come see? check us out, man, for sure. Got all Delta A products, all your smoking needs, convenient needs, man. Yeah. Come check us out. 
Already. High vibes. And Already. that's going to be another episode of After Hours with the Cliff Shop. Already, y'all through Savas. Y'all appreciate everybody listening tonight. Y'all have a good night. Look forward to YouTube and other videos coming to your way. Hey, yeah, hey, hey. Shout out Clavo Fetty and T. R.I.P. Easy Money. I love you. Mm-hmm.